Hey guys, uh, so I finally got around to uh, messing around with Blender and seeing if I can get it running with uh, the uh, VR support uh, for uh, my Oculus Quest. Um, I tried the uh, the official Blender, um, I think it started with 2.83, but Blender's at 2.9 now. Uh, but the uh, the official Windows Mixed Reality uh, and VR kind of support, uh, it works specifically for WMXR, Windows Mixed Reality, as well as Oculus headsets only. Um, and uh, I'm not using a Rift, I am using a Quest, uh, but uh, overall the controls kind of work pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, in the official release, uh, there isn't any support for doing uh, sort of uh, like anything doing controls or anything like that. So basically using these guys, uh, which is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, I'm sure that they're coming up with, uh, you know, something uh, in the future. Uh, so instead, I have tried out uh, a, uh, another option, which is called uh, Marui, M-A-R-U-I. Uh, which uh, has uh, support for uh, Blender version, I think it was 2.82, or sorry, 2.2, or, yeah, anyways. Uh, in any event, uh, it works a little bit better. Uh, there is some, uh, like, controls in there to actually be able to work within Blender. Not really that great, uh, I found, uh, but, uh, you know, it's still kind of cool that they have that in there. Uh, but more importantly, it has controls for being able to move the camera around and being able to like ins uh, inspect different models and stuff like that. Uh, so for a demo of this, uh, I've uh, decided to use uh, one of my lightsabers that I modeled, uh, this one being Luke's Return of the Jedi lightsaber. Uh, I have it set up right now in uh, material preview mode, uh, which I found is pretty stable uh, for uh, being able to see the different coloring and stuff like that. I've tried doing it in render preview uh, as well, but I found that uh, it because it's a preview and not an actual render, uh, it winds up just really pixelated, not really that great. Um, but again, it's just because it's a preview, right? It's not a, a uh, like a, a full uh, render of the thing. If I did a full render, it would just be like an image, and I wouldn't actually be able to you know move around the model and stuff like that. And, you know, have a look around. So uh, that's why I'm using uh, the materials preview because it's a little bit, uh, it's a lot more stable that way. It can actually move things around and all that. Uh, at the very end of this video, I will do a uh, render preview just so you guys can kind of see the lightsaber effect, which actually does look a little cool uh but again i'm going to say that to the end because you'll see the screen just it, it's garbage but you know it, again preview uh so uh the way this works is actually really simple uh you open up the uh, uh blender uh with the uh, the inst like the install uh, instructions uh, so you basically have to uh, put a, a DLL file in with uh, the 2.82 uh, uh, release of Blender. Uh, and uh, so then when you open Blender, all you have to do is go up to Window, do New VR Window, and it starts off uh, right in the very center of the scene. But uh, as I mentioned, it has uh, support for uh, controllers. So uh, using the, uh, the side button, you can uh, you know, rotate the, the scene around and such, but uh, you can also use the Y button on the left controller to pull out, as you can see, and then you can also, uh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, you can also pan left and right using this. So like that. Uh, you can't really rotate with this, but that's, what, that's why I said, you know, you can use uh, the uh, side button on the, uh, the right-hand controller. You can also use uh, the side button on the left controller, but uh, in terms as to, you know, like moving around and stuff like that, I find that it's a little more, eh. I find it just works a little bit better if you stick to camera rotation on the right and uh, camera zooming and panning uh, and such like that using uh, the left controller's Y button. So, uh, as you can see, I can uh, move the camera around. Uh, it's a 
when rotating the camera, it's really janky. So I found that uh, when you're rotating, you just go to where you want it to be and then you kind of just let go uh, and then, you know, kind of just adjust as needed. Otherwise, if you hold it like that, you know, like it just, it's not really that great. It's very shaky uh, and such like that. So, you know, that's why I kind of just go with these, you know, relatively smooth movements. Uh, don't hold the button down too much to move around. Uh, and as I said, you can, you know, use the uh, left hand controller Y button to, you know, um, you know, there we go, uh, to uh, pan and, uh, you know, pull the camera in and out. Now, another uh, cool little feature of this is if you use, oh, and by the way, uh, this is, these are uh, Rift controllers. Uh, and uh, I'm just using an Oculus Quest uh, for uh, this because, well, I don't have a, uh, you know, I don't have a Rift. Uh, and honestly, you know what? I find that the, the Quest uh, technology is actually a little bit better. And it gives you the option of going either portable or wired using uh, the link cable, uh, which is right here. Uh, so, uh, that's why the, uh, the controllers in the capture and these controllers look so different. Uh, but you know, not a big deal. Uh, you know, it all still works together quite nicely. Um, one other thing as well, uh, if you use the B button on the right controller, you can create essentially an instanced camera, and then you can use that to, you know, quickly, if you need to move the camera up or down, uh, I found that it actually works pretty quick. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, send it basically wherever you want. Um, and yeah, so, you know, like in terms as to what it is, uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, there are built in controls for the Rift uh, that you can uh, actually kind of access like so. Uh, you know, I've got the context menu right here. Uh, again, I find that the, or I found that these controls are pretty janky uh, and uh, it's not really that optimized for doing 3d model work and such but uh you know with some time and you know maybe uh, uh with uh, some official support from blender and such uh with their uh with their own plugin uh you know maybe in a year or two we might actually be able to do full 3d modeling right within uh, blender uh using uh, just straight up vr which would be pretty cool but uh you know i am also kind of old school so I wouldn't really uh, use this for doing any sort of actual modeling uh, just because, uh, I don't know, I find that uh, working on a screen, uh, I'm able to multitask a lot better. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, you have full controls using the, uh, you know, the, uh, the non-VR, uh, you know, kind of uh, setup for Blender. So that's another reason why I wouldn't really do that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, really cool to be able to, uh, you know, inspect uh, models and scenes and such like that. Uh, I would imagine that uh, doing like a landscape scene or something like that, uh, you know, for like maybe a very large, uh, expansive level for a game, uh, this would actually come in quite handy, you know, being able to zoom into a forest, go down to like ground level and then kind of zoom around to inspect how it all looks and that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm sure I'll probably get to that eventually, uh, you know, since I'm going to be starting uh, my game design course uh, through Conestoga on uh, September 8th, uh, which, you know, I'm looking forward to, uh, and such like that. Uh, now, as I mentioned, at the end of this video, I was going to do a quick uh, rendered view so you can kind of see how it looks. Uh, again, this preview is really janky, so... Uh, I'll just kind of look at the saber thing so you can kind of see that effect that I uh, achieved before. But yeah, so, you know, it's pretty, uh, you know, as I said, it's really janky. It's really pixelated, but you can kind of see the, uh, a bit of the, uh, the glow effect that I achieved uh, when I set this thing up uh, uh, last year. So, but yeah, uh, let me just point my view away and get back to the preview mode. Uh, one sec. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, I'm not, I'm just posting this to my personal Facebook, uh, you know, just to share with uh, you guys, my friends. Uh, I'm probably not going to post this to YouTube, but yeah, it's all still pretty cool. So have a good day, guys.